Hey guys, Ray from Love Your RV and Boat. Uh, back at you with another lithium battery review. Now this one is probably the most full featured lithium battery I've ever come across. And actually it looks like the build quality is excellent. And the company is, is from the USA. They're located in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And they're basically saying made in the USA. They do uh, source some of their parts globally, but it sounds like they put together the batteries stateside and, you know, they take care of the warranty. They actually have a phone number to call to talk to them, and they also ship to Canada and Mexico. So the one they sent out for review is a self-heating type 300 amp hour lithium battery with an app, Bluetooth app, the whole nine yards. Now this company is called SFK which uh, stands for Sun Fun Kits. And they have approached me in the past, and when I saw the name Sun Fun Kits, I just disregarded it as some kind of cheap end battery out of China or something. But this time I kind of perused their website. I'm actually pretty impressed. They, they sell battery kits for people, and you can buy all kinds of different things to build your own battery from scratch if, you, if that's what you want to do. And you can source the cells. They'll sell you the cells. They do also sell the pre-built batteries, different sizes here. So this is the one they wanted me to review. So fair disclaimer, I was given this battery as a free sample to review it. There's their logo, which it says, uh, pre-built batteries are made in the USA using domestic and globally sourced components. But uh, it is a very full featured battery and there's a lot of DIY things you can do like I've never seen some of the features that are in this battery and any other battery. So <clears throat> I'm gonna break this into a multi-part series. This will kind of just be an introduction and we'll show you the test bed I'm gonna use and we'll do a quick charge and discharge test just to prove it's working. And then I'll come back in future videos and do more. Um, but uh, first I'll give you a look at the manual because it's the best manual I've ever, I've ever come across for almost any product. So here we go. It's like the size of a magazine. On the back, it's got its their address, phone number, email, website. But it's one of the most complete manuals I've ever seen. And I love the size of the printing. As you know, old guys like us, our eyes tend to go after age 40. And a lot of the manuals I get, I have to go and get magnifying glasses just to read. But they go through every uh, feature of it and also go through all the hookup situations. It's got all the specs in here. Let's give you kind of a look, feel for it. How to take it apart, how they recommend to take it apart. There are some of the hookups, parallel operation. And it goes really into detail, which I like. And I guess they've been doing it a while, so they have a lot of good advice in here. And then they actually go through their app, because their app is quite sophisticated, unlike some apps that kind of just give you limited information this thing you can actually go in there and adjust things like charging and discharging capacity that sort of thing storage all sorts of stuff which i'll get into in later videos like i say there's just so much information to give you about this battery really for techies or diy guys it's a, a really interesting battery but for just the average use user you don't need to dive into all this but it's nice that it's there just look at the big size, really well done manual, the color, everything like that. And then at the end, this really impressed me. Let's go to the last page here. And they had battery quality check. So they check everything. Every battery gets checked before it goes out. <clears throat> it has different uh, <clears throat> tech names here. And then down here, it actually written in pen, tested and uh, they, they bench test everything before. So this was 4,001.4 kilowatts, 309.76 amp hours at a 60 amp load test. So that's really cool. Anyway, enough gushing about it. Let's go get a look at it. So here we go, give you a look at it. So for dealers and people they send out for reviews, they send out a clear plastic top. The regular one has an opaque top, but it's kind of nice and I can get a quick look inside without tearing it all apart. See the BMS there. And then we've got three buttons here. 
got one to turn on the Bluetooth and there's one they call active balance right there looks like there's two levels blue and green and then you can turn on the heating pads there that's kind of cool decent looking uh, terminals on it Also, it came with this bag. I guess they sell this bag, especially if you're in cold weather environments. You can see it'll help uh, keep it warmer inside. And then there's some holes on the side for the leads to come out. Makes a nice carrying bag, or just for protection. Also, it took me a while to figure out what this was, but I believe this is for pulling the cells. So if you do take it apart, you can bolt on to one of the prismatic cells and then you'll be able to lift it out to change it. And then there's a cable here. Looks like a data cable that can plug into a computer. And I noticed a port out here where you can plug that cable in. I guess you can get some computer software and work. Works like that. There's an app for it. Let's go through some of the specs and features here for you. One thing I noticed there's the Made in USA logo. It uh, says, with domestic and globally sourced parts. They actually have a phone number to call. I guess that's back where it's made. And also an email address. You can see they're, they're calling themselves F SFK Sun Fun Kits. I know when they first uh, approached me in the last couple of years, I was like, I don't know who that is but it sounded kind of like a gimmicky name but it actually turns out to be quite a nice operation building some pretty good batteries from what I can tell I guess that's a hologram logo there so we got 13.0 volt, volt nominal output automatic low and high voltage disconnect low and high temperature protection it weighs 57.7 pounds. Give you a couple straps to help you lift it up there. And then the size is 14.6 inches by 7.5 inches by 11.8 inches, which is awfully compact for a 300 amp hour battery. Holy cow. Built with certified automotive grade cells, smart battery with Bluetooth compatibility. So there's an app for it. 8-year USA warranty, built-in thermal heating pads for low temperature charging, amp boost 200 amps up to 120 seconds. Here's their capacity, 300 amp hours, 4 kilowatts, 2.4 kilowatt peak power, 125 amp continuous discharge, 160 amp charging capable, that's pretty high, uh, 5 amp active cell balancer. So a lot of lithium batteries, they use what they call passive balancing. This one actually has an active balancer in it, which is a little different than a lot of them. 3000 cycle life at 80%, pretty standard. Can be wired up to four in series for 48 volt. Smart BMS, medical grade BMS, battery management system, adjustable min-max state of charge, adjustable min-max power output, soft switch to turn battery on and off, pin code protected access, analytics for power, voltage, and temp. Yeah, so those are some of the features I've never seen before in any of the batteries I've tested where you can actually adjust things. And then it's got some voltage levels, just a cheat sheet there. Then I noticed on the side here, another label, and you can see model, BMS ID and actually gives you the tech that worked on stuff there. All the different cell numbers, data manufacturer, continuous watt test, minimum capacity test, and complete data sheet available. QR code, etc. So, yeah, pretty amazing. I've never seen that before in any of the batteries I've tested. Anyway, what I'm going to do with this battery, first thing. I'm going to put it into my uh, tool chest power station that I've built over the years and I use it for testing various things. Just finished testing an SOK 
280 amp hour battery in it. If you missed that, I'll, I'll put a link back to that. So that test is over and we'll put this one in and I'll start testing it and uh, we'll continue with future videos. Anyway, let me wire it in and we'll do a, a couple quick tests here to make sure it's working. There we go. Got her all installed in place of the battery that was there before. If you want to see any information about this truck box power station, uh, I'll link back to a bunch of videos as it's been evolving. Anyway, it's all fit in there. Basically, there's a, DC, a 40 amp DC to DC charger in here, a 40 amp solar controller, and there's a 1500 watt uh, inverter. And then usually I just have this solar panel running. I mostly started this so that I could run all my uh, dash cameras in parking mode 24 seven. I have about seven cameras on the truck that record all the time. So I didn't want to wear down my actual starter battery. So this started out and it started evolving. Anyway, we'll give it a quick charging test here. Right now we'll see what the solar panel is putting in. Just 2.9 amps right now. Usually my little cameras, they, they draw about an amp and a half or two amps. So first we'll turn on the DC to DC charger and then we'll let you see what happens here. And then I'll turn on, I also have a 40 amp charger here that I can use and I'll just plug it into my RV. So we'll have another 40 amps going in there and we'll see. Should get pretty close to 80 amps of charging power. Just as a quick test. There we go. Little chargers plugged in. And we'll check here. Yep, 40 amps. 556 watts. It's got temperatures. Different temperatures in different parts of the battery, I guess. And amp hours remaining. And right now it's 50% full. So let's try turning on my DC to DC charger now. The okay, truck's running. I have a little switch here to switch it on. And we'll go back and see if we've increased the amperage. There we are, 81 amps. So that's working fine. 1,000.89 watts. I'm not going to torture test the battery at this point. I just want to make sure it's working. So next we'll do a, a discharge test. Okay, now I'm plugged into a charging port on my camper, so it'll charge my camping batteries. And I'll just turn on this inverter there, and we should start seeing some charging happening. There we go, negative 31 amps. Negative 97 amps. And she's putting out 1,545 watts. 119 amps there. Cool. Seems to be working. Well, there you go. That's part one. Kind of a quick overview of all the features and a look at the battery. Quick test. I'm going to be back with... Uh, more parts on this. I'm going to use this battery in this test bed for the, the next two months as we finish off our uh, snowbird trip. I'll probably do some max discharge tests, maybe test the capacity on it. Although they seem to do some pretty good tests online of the capacity and uh, might give you a closer look inside as well. Anyway, stay tuned. Till next time, Ray from Love Your RV and Boat. Cheers, everyone. Just out camped in the beautiful Sonoran Desert in southern Arizona.